Hey, good morning guys. Uh, Matty here from uh, Matty's Bushcraft and Self-Reliance. I uh, hope you can hear me because I have to talk a little bit silent because people are sleeping. Uh, I arrived yesterday evening at the Bushcraft Show in the UK and I left uh, the day before yesterday and I first spent uh, a night at Jamie's place and also Nick and uh, uh, Lucas came to, uh, to visit me and Nick has brought me two beautiful presents uh, uh, one of them is in the car, it's a wooden bowl he made at school and the second is this bracelet with paracord and leather it's uh, very beautiful so uh, thank you Nick well uh, I woke up yesterday morning pretty early at 6 in the morning and I left at half past 7 and had to drive through Belgium, France and take the Euro Tunnel to the UK and everywhere around every big city there was a huge queue which I had to wait for hours sometimes so I arrived about 4 or 5 hours later than uh, expected and I was very very tired uh, as you can see I'm staff member uh, volunteer uh, which means uh, that I'm helping around uh, yesterday evening my first job even before I got dinner was uh, to uh, help uh, building up a tent a forge tent which you will see later in the video uh, Yeah, that car's driving around, uh, all staff members. Uh, I had a pretty good night's sleep. I woke up at 6 English time, 7 Dutch time. And, uh, well, I'm going to see what we're going to do today. First I'll show you around the uh, campsite where I'm sleeping, etc. So follow me. Well, right there you see my tent with the Dutch flag in front, so people can find me. <coughs> the car I rented is parked here. I think it's the only Dutch car. What you just saw was the staff area. Over there, it's the parking place for the visitors. There, you see all the tents. Okay, well, that's it for the moment. Uh, I'm still a bit sleepy, so I uh, also have to get practice to, to speak English uh, fluently, more fluently than, uh, than I do in the video. Uh, well, I'm going to learn a lot and I'm going to show you around. So, see you later guys. Have you got a Land Rover ready for later on? Sorry? Have you got a Land Rover ready for later on to pull us all out? Yeah, <laughs> we have. We have. <laughs>
Well, as you can see, I'm still at the parking site for the day visitors. It's been raining a lot. And lots of cars get stuck in the mud. Trying to help them out with Land Rovers. See, it really looks terrible. Well, it's going to be a wonderful bushcraft weekend. We've got lots of hay. Alright guys, I'm just walking around the Bushcraft Show. Uh, well, my first day I've been working uh, a shift from, well we had briefing at 8 o'clock. And now it's <clears throat> around 9 o'clock in the evening. And uh, we've been working all day. And, well, I was at the parking site and I did uh, traffic control on the road. So basically a part of my own job. And what I'm going to do now is looking around for uh, my friends Bill, Brian, Josh. Don't know if they're all here. I hope so. But, uh, well. I think I better go there while it's still uh, light. But it was a terrible day. It was raining, even thunder, lightning, everything. I've been soaking wet. The sun was shining in just one hour. And that's it for today. Okay. I'll be back later when I find those guys. Okay guys, I just uh, stopped filming my last scene and I said I was uh, looking for, uh, for Brian and Bill. And I put away my cam and at the same moment, look who's around here. <laughs> Hello people! You um, remember him? <laughs> <laughs> that face. That's quite interesting. And yeah, there's Bill. Himself. On his bare feet, of course. <laughs> Don't expect anything less. What's that? You're a wine. I lost it. Wasn't getting video. Brilliant. <laughs> Good as well. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy going, oh, Journey. No way. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Real deep voice. I was like, oh, hi, man. I was like, hi. Waving the cross was like, I didn't know where it was coming from. No, but they, well, presumably they probably can. It's good to see everybody. Yeah, yeah. Video and watch. Yeah, I didn't believe it when I heard it. I checked out on my Just left it. Come see the spot. Same as. Same as. Tried to. 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 Good morning guys, uh, it's Sunday morning, just woke up and it's raining outside so this is going to be a lovely day, I'm having my coffee, my tent, I'm really glad I did bring my tent and not a shelter because it's more convenient in this weather and I'm standing on a campsite there. Where I'm standing, the, the staff campsite, there's no, uh, there are no trees around, so I couldn't put up my top anyway. Um, well, uh, as I told you yesterday, I've been working all day long on the parking site and on the roads, doing some traffic control, and not some, uh, a lot. And I made a very long shift, more than 12 hours. So I was extremely tired. I was soaking wet, cold, and uh, well, also the, the day before, I, I had to drive all day long. And the night before that, I didn't get much sleep as well because I went to bed too late. Anyway, uh, yesterday evening I, uh, I met Bill and Brian, but I was so tired that I really didn't know what, what to say and I uh, couldn't find my words, uh, so s sorry guys, uh, <laughs> uh, it's not a, not a good first impression. Uh, anyway. I hope to get more time today to see something uh, in the bushcraft show, walk around, uh, maybe buying things uh, and meet, meeting more people. The people in the staff are very nice, very friendly and uh, I hope we will all stay in contact and uh, meet up some other time. Uh, also better weather circumstances. I'm still sleepy, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, <laughs> it was funny yesterday. Uh, some people recognized me from uh, my YouTube channel. And uh, one found my channel through uh, Dalish Bushcraft, Rasmus. So, hi Rasmus, if you're watching. Uh, so, <laughs> it, it, it's funny how uh, YouTube can bring people uh, together in the bushcraft world. I think my lens is getting a little bit foggy, but no problem, I haven't got much more to say at this moment, so I'll uh, come back to you later. Bye guys. Hi guys, it's uh, half past 
yeah, half past 11 in the morning now, on Sunday morning. And uh, this morning I've been working on the traffic control and uh, the day uh, entrance. And uh, finally someone told me that uh, I can go and uh, have a look at the bushcraft show, finally. Well, uh, I'm going to show you around and uh, make some, uh, some pictures and uh, footage for my video. Uh, just follow me. Let's go.
Because her eyes are set in the socket, she can't move her eyes. Man, I'm stand by. Oh. Got some time off. <laughs> so the vehicle pulling the lorry has now got stuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. What's the situation later? Because my dad needs to get off tonight, and he's parked over there. Yeah. I'm going to look around at the place where the people are camping. This is the campground for the tents. And behind it is small woodland. And there people have put up shelters. It's also the place where uh, Bill and Brian are staying. Well, I have to excuse myself uh, that every time you hear the, the radio in the background. But uh, I have a few hours off, but I'm still listening and stand by in case something is happening. Yeah, there was the radio again. in the woodland area. Even someone is camping in the middle of the road almost. 
Let's see what's here. Nothing much. Oh yeah, they had a campfire. Cool. guys just behind me it's the river Trent which is uh, the, the border of the, the campsite uh, oh, I've showed you uh, around the, the campsites and uh, the rest of the bushcraft show area and I've been walking around looking at things and doing my uh, surveillance as well and a little bit of security because unfortunately at uh, events like this uh, there are also thieves coming and I heard from some of the store owners that uh, quite expensive gear like knives or trousers uh, were stolen. I hope to catch someone red-handed. I'm not wearing my yellow uh, jacket so um, more or less undercover unless they hear my radio uh, anyway uh, I think it's cool to have a volunteer job because I'm all alone now the, the guys from Belgian bushcraft and Erasmus from Danish bushcraft the Danish bushcraft uh, couldn't come with me I hope they can come with me next year because uh, in a group you have much more fun uh, on the other hand, I've met many people who recognize me from, uh, from my videos and I also recognize them, of course. And uh, it, it's a good thing to meet people in real life, people uh, you know before, only from the internet. Uh, that's cool. But uh, hanging around with uh, a group of friends, it's uh, far more fun. And, well, because I'm alone, I'm glad I'm uh, doing the volunteer job. It's uh, keeping me busy, giving me something to do. Uh, otherwise, uh, well, that just comes an end to uh, visiting all the, 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 the stores, the shops and the, the demonstrations. And uh, then it will be uh, boring after one or two days. Uh, that's my opinion. Or you can sleep all day in your uh, hammock or in your tent. But I think I'm having a pretty good time now. And uh, I'll do my best to, uh, to come again next year. It's, it's not the end of my video, but I'm already announcing it. I uh, do want to come next year uh, together with uh, Belgian bushcraft and Danish bushcraft and maybe some others and we can rent a van and uh, drive all together. Uh, not sure if it will be in the same place. Uh, we had some problems in the parking area and uh, maybe we will find a better place but it's beautiful around here that's for sure. And if the weather is nice, it's okay. But when it's uh, raining, like the last couple of days, it's just, uh, just terrible. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me. I don't speak very loud. Oh, I didn't know there was a railroad. It's a, a train passing by. the radio, the train, etc. So uh, I will be back with you later, guys. See you.
So busy this year, people are just killed all over the place. So we've got to make it easy. understand how much hard work goes into making these blades really, really sharp. So I don't want to see you going across the blade like that. Okay? And that keeps your knife sharp when you're out in the field as well. Now the last thing we're going to do, yeah, is we're going to make a bevel across the top or a chamfer across the top. To do that, we're going to the knife up, we're going to put it flat against the wood like that again. We're going to hold the, the workpiece this way now. Instead of like this, we're going to do like this. Slide the hand up until it thumbs on the knife. Tilt the knife until it just begins to bite, and then push with that thumb again. And this arm again is really floppy. Okay? Are you happy with that, Henry? There's your stick. Put it on here. Yeah. So you pick it up. Okay? Yeah. Flat on the wood. That's it. Slide this hand up till the thumb's right behind it. That's it. Tilt the knife up now. Just push with that thumb. That's it. Now keep going all the way around the stick then. safe and when you come back next year I'll be counting your fingers and thumbs. Okay? I'm gonna try and stand up there. <laughs> See you again my friend. See ya. Uh, hi guys, I'm back again in one of the shops on the Bushcraft show. And I've just bought you a surprise. Surprise for Rasmus, surprise for uh, uh, Jamie, uh, uh, Nick, Lars and uh, Lucas. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's in this shop. You see many beautiful things. And the guy selling it to me would like to say something to Rasmus, Danish bushcrafter. Right, Rasmus, it's Craig from Leaf Life. How are we doing, pal? 
Um, shame you couldn't make it over here, but obviously there's uh, next year. So make sure you get over here, mate. You're missing a good show. It's raining a bit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> hey, but we're used to it over in England, so bring your wet jacket. Yeah? See you later. See you in a bit. Proper scout signs. Are you ready? One, two, three. First point is the game! Okay, stay there, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, well, I met this uh, scout troop. Uh, maybe you can introduce yourself. Yeah, start with Baloo. Lovely. I'm Steve. I'm the scout leader of First Point and Scout Group. We're very, very happy to be here. And thank you very much indeed for inviting us to your wild camp. It is marvellous. Danielle? Well, I'm Danielle, I'm the assistant scout leader. Also very happy to be here. Huh? Hi! I'm Cody! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Joseph. Hi, I'm Jess. Good. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> What's your name? Come on. I'm Daniel. I'm Harry, patrol leader of Wolf Patrol. Cool. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm patrol leader of Cobras. <laughs> James. James. <laughs> James. James. It's James. Yeah, he said James. Uh, Bit quiet. Patrol leader of Panther Patrol. And I'm R. Kayla, and also Group Scoutmaster. So I run the group, but I also run our Wolf Cup section. And Mad. also got yeah. my daughter and I'm is. Evan. With more hat on. They're going to edit half of this. You've also got a website, haven't you? Yep, yeah, our, um, our website for traditional scouting is www.traditionalscouting.co.uk. We're one of 50 in the UK <laughs> that eat worms. <laughs> Put that on the <laughs> And we believe in traditional scouting, we believe in climbing trees, using knives, and also, gutting fish, and also, eating them. Uh, and also today we've been eating worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we believe in eating worms. <laughs> but, but you won't have a fire. No, we, we we're we're going oh. to oh. have a fire oh, in your are. Canadian honour tonight. Yeah. How's that? Not <laughs> Canadian! <laughs> 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 Give me the one. I have viewers all over the world on my uh, YouTube channel, also in Holland and Belgium and Flanders. So maybe you're surprised, but if Daniel. you will. Hello, 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 who is it? Give him some Dutch. Give him some Dutch. I'm here in England, Nederland, and I'm sitting by the scouting, bushcraft, helemaal geweldig, hartstikke modderig, maar hartstikke leuk. Okay, I didn't know what to say. Jij spreekt ook Nederlands, hè? Nee, Jan. Wil je wat zeggen nog? Ja. Doen. Zeg maar Hoi. Ik vind het super leuk. Jullie moeten het ook proberen. Konnichiwa. Nice one, nice one. Thank you very much, guys. What's your name? I want to see I'm 
Oh, watch Mate, you can cut your sausages. Yeah. Mate, you can cut your sausages. <laughs> There's a little bit of lever for you. Oh, Thank you, Scott. Beach, beach, beach. Little trinkets for the lot of you as well. Good. Yeah, that's it's working. Yep, made a big fire, but <laughs> <laughs> now these are a lot harder than you think. To be honest, it's just getting it right, isn't it? Yeah, let's try it again. It's gonna wash around. You think you got you got to push as hard as you can mm. and pull it off really quick as well, so you can get the oxygen to run in there. But I haven't got anything to turn this to a fire really. So then I made this look so easy. Do you want a bit of ember? <coughs> uh, hi guys, it's uh, Monday morning now. It's the last day of the bushcraft show, and well, in the morning before lunch at least, I've got some uh, more time off. At the same time being on duty on the campsite, walking around, buying stuff, etc. Uh, yesterday I had a, a really good evening. I've met many people, people uh, I know and they know me from uh, YouTube uh, and, or Facebook. Uh, met some new people and I was back uh, back in my tent at, uh, at 1, 1 o'clock at night, woke up at 6 in the morning, so I had very little sleep. Uh, well, what's next? Uh, okay, in the afternoon and evening, I'll be doing some traffic control because uh, everyone is leaving. I'm leaving tomorrow morning and uh, don't know if I will be filming uh, much more, but uh, already did so I give you a good impression of the bushcraft show okay maybe catch up later with you or not I'll see bye coating of oil around it and, they, and it, so that it's not waterproof but it won't, it won't go hard enough so you, you, buckskin can even go through the washing machine I wouldn't do it that often but it can do and all it needs is a very gentle stretch afterwards and it's good to go again um, so once you've got your hide dry and soft, it will stay soft like that. But if you work to hide and you take your eye off the balls, it's normally those thick bits right at the end. You think, yeah, I think that's dry now, and you leave it, and you come back the next morning, and it wasn't quite dry, and they've just hardened up, and you get some really tough patches on it. Some customers, mate. Do you need me off? Uh, no worries. There you are. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, this is probably going to be the last time I'm back with you in this video. Uh, yesterday, almost all people uh, left the campsite, only the staff was left, and uh, we did lots of work. And today, also for us, 
excuse me about the cars passing by, but uh, the people here in Britain have to work again. Uh, yesterday, Monday, they had a, a holiday. So it's a bit busy on the roads. Well, today it's uh, also the last day for the staff members and uh, I'm about to, uh, to leave. And lots of noise. I'm about to leave and uh, do my way to Folkestone, taking the Eurotunnel to France, then to Belgium. I'm going uh, to, to stay one night at Jamie's. And uh, well, then I will return home. About the bushcraft show, uh, we had lots of rain, uh, especially the, the first days. And I thought, well, this is going to be dreadful, a terrible event, and uh, everything going, getting wet, etc. And I was working at uh, the, the day parking and on the roads, and so many cars sank uh, in the mud, about one foot deep, and they had to be pulled out with a tractor or a Land Rover. And uh, yeah, well, it was a terrible situation. But in spite of that, it uh, turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I really enjoyed myself and so did other people. Yesterday afternoon, I was standing at the gate and I saw so many people uh, leaving and many of them, they stopped, opened their windows and they said they were very grateful for everything uh, we did for them to make it uh, a lovely weekend for us all. In spite of the rain, in spite of the mud, in spite of the bad drainage of the terrain, uh, most people enjoy themselves. Last night I heard that for next year they will try to find another location with uh, a better parking, a better drainage system on the terrain so it won't be uh, as muddy as it was this year but well, in fact who cares because we're bushcrafters after all and we shouldn't care about a little mud. We love adventure and this certainly was an adventure. What more can I say? Well, the, the things I enjoyed the most was, uh, well, there's no first, uh, they're all on one, one level, but to start with, meeting people uh, that I only knew from YouTube before and now I met them in real life. Also met many uh, new uh, friends. Uh, I was looking for, uh, for a guy uh, called Sam. So Sam, if you're watching, sorry, I missed you. I've been looking for you around, couldn't find you. And then three guys invited me uh, to sit under their shelter at the campfire and we have a lovely conversation. Uh, they're new friends and uh, I hope you will stay in touch. And there are so many uh, other people I met, just marvelous. Uh, also the, the staff team, the, there were great people. We uh, changed addresses, uh, emails, and we definitely will stay in touch and hopefully we will do a reunion uh, yeah, on a weekend. And I, and I sincerely hope that I will be able to come over. Uh, well, I don't want to make it uh, too long. A really big story at the end.
but I would like to invite you all to join the Bushcraft Show next year. And uh, I don't know where it will be held, but you can look on the website. It's www. Sorry, yeah, it's www. The Bushcraft Show. Co. Uk. Uh, I will uh, put a link above or below, and uh, so you can see where it is. And the second thing is, uh, we didn't have that much, that many staff members. Uh, we could use more, so I would recommend you to to apply as a staff member, and maybe you can uh, tell. Uh, which part of the bushcraft show you would like to work or not to work and have uh, free time. If you volunteer as a staff member, you're working in a great team with great people, getting new experiences also in, uh, in, in work. And uh, all the people around you are so grateful for the things you do. Uh, like we have been pulling out cars from the mud and there was a little girl who made her own cart and uh, to say thank you to the to the bushcraft man and yeah that's really touching and uh, it's well you you should do it just join the staff team as a volunteer and if you have enough you only have to work, uh, work a shift of few hours a day maybe four hours and you've got plenty plenty of time to see other things meet other people uh, do that I've got my experience this weekend and out of my experience I say you will have a wonderful time so thank you everybody first of all all the staff members all the people who came to the bushcraft show all the new friends and also thank you for watching this video uh, please comment please subscribe and visit the bushcraft show site okay thank you goodbye and see you the next time